All right, we got a case of the Mondays. And uh, last week I was out here at this place. They're going to try and log some of this. The only pins were set in the 20s. I can't find top or bottom pin at the top of the hill or down by the road. So we're going to go look for another pin that hasn't been seen since the 20s. Except for the old guy says that lives here. Says he's seen it before. So cross our fingers. I've got this old map from... Where's the night date? 1920. And this is the line I can't find. This inch and a quarter pin and this pin up here. I'm trying to, they're trying to cut this side against this line. So that ain't happening. Can't find that. So I found that. I'm going to go find this. Hopefully it's there so we can put this back and have a better look point up here. If not, we'll go here and here and put that back. Yada, yada. But, but yeah, we're looking for a two inch shaft up, a, up at the top of the hill here. So let's get out of the pickup and go wow so nobody's seen or no surveyors seen this since it was set in 1920 but i just talked to the old guys here he's like oh i've seen it it's a big old bar and guess what check this out. just came up here i was looking around going where do i even start into this sea of blackberry mess but hey, that's a T-post right there that probably the property owner put next to this thing, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Look at that. 1920 hunk of metal. They'd use whatever they had hunk of metal back then set. Well, that's what it calls for. No survey ribbon around it. It will be now. Okay, so now all I gotta do is from here, Traverse, out blackberries. Traverse down, down the driveway, down to the road, tie into my old control down here. And then I'll be able to have good look points for the actual 1920s pins I'm looking for. Copy. Anybody know if they had survey ribbon back in 1920? Might be the first survey ribbon ever to go on this monument. It's kind of odd. It's like a part to a tractor or something. Copy. All right, we are set up on the two inch shaft. Right there. Turned into a point that sees the gun and then down the driveway. And uh, I think a turn or two after this, I'll be into my old control and we'll be able to compute a better look point for the old other old ones. I'm gonna set a point down at the corner of this driveway. Hopefully it sees down to the highway. Probably get it in one more turn. And then I'm not, I don't think this one down at the bottom's there, but one at the top might be there. I don't think I have a good enough search area, though. This will get it to us. Oh, darn it. Probably should have just shot down to the highway. Down there, because... Might take... Two turns. Darn it. That's a bummer. Unless I can see through. Nope. Nope. It's foggy. Right here. Copy. All right, abort mission. Too many dang turns down here when I can get it in two if I just get down to the highway immediately. So I'm going to redo everything. Copy. All right, so since this point can go wherever I want it, I got a point that sees down to the highway instead of down the driveway. So from this point, I'll tie right into my control. Smart. Well, I love having three rods in the truck. I can go put this on the control point I'm trying to tie into. We're looking for an old post or an old uh what is it inch and a half pipe i think right here but i'm pretty sure all this ground has been changed since the 1920s but we're gonna tie into this and then we'll have calculation point copy boy it's foggy okay i gotta be way down there hopefully i can see between these two i'm sure we can i face that prism right yep okay Two setups and we'll be calculating uh, three setups because I still got to set there and get this closing angle, not closing angle, but angle so I'm back on my control network. <laughs> okay, copy. I think somewhere up in this timber. Oh, there's a gun right there. I'm going. Right here. Copy. Right here. So we got a distance from here at the shaft to our control point and then an angle from our control point from here to our control point down to the road. 
and then a distance down to the road. Now we're going to move this, this guy to where we were just set up on our first control point. And use that as back sight, set up on 12, and tie into, I think it's point three, for sure. All right, back siding up there, turning an angle from here all the way down to the road to our old control, got her. Back side up here, we got all the uh, distances we need. I just got to set up down there and turn one more, pe one more angle back into our control, so then everything's tied together. We can have better look points. Hey, look at that, sunshine's coming out. Might get to take off the rain pants until we get up in there. It's going to be wet. All right, I got all tied back in. Do some calculating, and we'll have an exact look point for where I was looking in here. The fence line comes down right to here, and I've torn up this ground pretty good with picking up little specks of metal. So we'll get a good look point and make sure this thing's gone. All right, well, that gave us a new spot where we haven't dug yet. Right, right where the huge signal is. Probably the reason I couldn't find this the other day is the landowner was parked right there. Okay, coffee. I think I'm gonna dig them up. All right. So this morning we went and found this with the green circle around it, so that we could find this one and a quarter inch pipe, which is that. Nobody's found it except for me. Coffee, that's our property corner from 1920 that's going to establish the line for this logging project. Now we got to go, now we got a real good look point for the one up at the top. Well, that was cool. We just tied all this stuff this morning to try and find this pen. The old surveyor set it all in 1920. I just missed his stuff by, he was dropping nail and uh, pulling chain. And I just missed him by half a foot with new technology. He was good, I always, old Galloway, I always hit right on within a half a foot, usually of him, a couple tents. I don't know how he did it. Probably had more than just one guy out here. I don't know how you'd pull a tape and drop a chain with one guy, but I do it marking line, but not as accurate as he was. Okay, now we're gonna go up to the top. Now that we've got good look points, I just tied that, put it on the map. Go up to the top, see if we weren't looking in the wrong spot. All right, access is kind of crappy on this job up to the top, so I'm going to go through this. I'm going to park in the cemetery. I'm going to go up through this timber up to the top, but i gotta, I got to take all this crap up there, so let's go hiking. There's a road right up here at the top, but I don't have permission to go on it. Drove up the driveway to ask if I could drive up it. No one is home, so we're going the hard way. I'm going to walk across this log right here, so I don't have to get down into this draw. And we're looking for a pen. What are we looking for? Can't, boy, can't remember. Slow and steady wins the race and don't break no ankles. Okay. We're almost there. Hup, hup. Hup, hup. Let me get out my stuff with our newfound knowledge. All right, I got a piece of control here. From here, we go north, 38 east. Six and six point something feet. And I just kicked around right there and didn't find anything, so let's break out old trusty. There's fence in here, that's why I've been digging. You can see I've been digging around last week. But I think we might have had it here. That's on one. We're gonna get him. Geez, Jed, why don't you bring the shovel up here? Cause I got a shovel right here. I don't know. It's on one. <laughs> What's happening here? It's dig deeper, Dave. Situation. Oh, what is this? I have rust. Why didn't I pack a shovel up here with all the other crap I brought up here? I wish I had like four arms and four legs. Hey. It's bent, but I'm gonna be able to straighten him out. I wish I had a shovel. Okay, I'm gonna dig all this out of here because he's here, we got him, copy. All right, sweet. That's three monuments for the 1920s recovered. All I gotta do is go back there and turn this angle and distance, and put it in the book. 
I think I'm going to come back tomorrow and mark all this timber going down through here. But, uh, yeah, nice short Monday. All right, so we'll, uh, I got a job out there where we're finding those Carsonite paddles that, uh, is gnarly. We had to, the other day we had the bright idea to go across the creek in our jeans. That wasn't smart, but, uh, it happened. We got wet. It was Friday, so it didn't matter. We just went home, dried out, but, uh. We'll be back at it tomorrow doing something or other. Copy.